This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Forex Report. Good afternoon traders, Scott Norris here with your Forex Report. Today is Wednesday, August 13th, 2008. Saw quite a mix of dollar strength and weakness in the last 24 hours as the U.S. currency's recent surge slows. The biggest loser on the day was the pound sterling after the BOE's quarterly inflation report outlined a very tough road ahead. The central bank cut growth forecasts while predicting higher inflation and thus little chance to cut rates. The pound dollar fell more than 300 points on the news. Other currencies such as the euro, however, held on much better over the last three sessions, forming ranges on intraday charts. A final group of pairs, including the Aussie dollar, started off showing great dollar strength before reversing completely in today's U.S. session. This is enough to spin the heads of even the most seasoned traders. Of course, this also means there are countless trading opportunities out there all day and night. We don't expect things to slow down at all given the pivotal times that we are in. Technically, the greenback is still very much in command. However, we have cautioned traders that most pairs will need to correct sometime in the near future before another sizable gain is seen. While a few majors appear to be in the early stages of such retracements, we're not sure today is the day it all begins could see a bit more dollar strength before a real correction comes underway and could even fall into some ranges for a few days or weeks. Whatever scenario plays out, we still see no end of the abundance in trading opportunities that will cross our path. We are more focused on short-term trades right now simply because the dollar's gains are so extended this month. We still favor the buck to the long side, but we are certainly not overlooking lucrative dollar short trades on an intraday basis. Still have some key economic data due in the final 48 hours of this week, which will keep things moving at a quick pace. Till tomorrow, have a wonderful night trading. Take care.